This is Crin Sharp Briggs and VT. We want the touchdown, we not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street, cause them bulls out the pen and they bout to stampede. Uh one of the best players uh this year, Larry Tuzzles come out and said he wants to be the highest paid left tackle in the league. Brain, I kick it off to you. Do we do that? Do we ship him off for more trade uh, trade capital for the draft? Because you know, in the rebuild, it's kind of hard to give that kind of man that kind of money. But what what what's the, what we what would you do if you're Nick Casario? It, it's really one of the more interesting questions and propositions that we have out there because you obviously want a guy of that caliber on your team. OK, you want to lock up a guy like that. And especially if you ever I know that there's room to disagree on exactly what to do with the number one overall pick if they get it. And even if they don't, what to do exactly with the quarterback position next year. You got different folks with different sort of minds on what Davis Mills could be on what the Texans should pursue from a quarterback standpoint. But whatever it is, like no matter what our disagreements might be and where we might stand on it. You're going to need a quarterback at some point, whether you feel like you got him on the team or you need to go get him on the team. And once you get him, the whole reason why you went out and traded the farm for Laramie Tunsil in the first place was pro- was to protect the quarterback that you had in-house, the franchise quarterback that you had in-house at the time. And the same logic is going to hold true fast forward to whenever you feel like you have that guy in-house again. So if you don't do it, you're still gonna have to need. You're still gonna need to figure out that position and what direction you're going in, because it's just as important as anything else, as any of the other high priority positions that we'll talk about with the Texans over time, namely quarterback. Okay, we concede that that's the number one, the the main position on the field. But past that, I mean, after quarterback, it's basically what pass Everything. rusher and Everything. left and, 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 and left tackle you know the blind side of the quarterback i mean and you can quibble on which one is more important but certainly those would be like yin and one yang. A, one a, one b or two and three however you want to characterize right. it so right. so if not laramie tunsil you need to find an answer there and, and i feel like if if it's not laramie tunsil i'd like to hear what your answer is y- yeah man i w- i would do it because and this is just me talking I anticipate that they will go in a different direction at quarterback. But even if they don't, even if they believe in Davis Mills, my man needs somebody to protect his blind side. <laughs> but they also have the draft capital to address other areas if they want to say, hey, we don't want to use one of these premium picks that we have coming up in the, in the next couple of years on a left tackle when we already have used, mind you, a number of premium picks to go get him. Plus, we've paid him once. Why don't we just go ahead and pay him again? and use these picks to go and supplement the rest of the team. That, to me, makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris, Hall, what about you on the tons of Um, Well, like like B. Scott said, you know, he's motivated by money, and I think that's the reason why he's playing his best football. But if you think about last year, what he missed, 11 to 12 games, did any of us miss Tunsil last year? So I feel like that we can still – be a good team without him i will put titus howard there and get another guy on the right hand side um say heck, that, heck hasn't been playing bad um heck has been pretty yeah, good the last couple I mean, of weeks yeah so, on the heck, week, heck so. must have been he must have been um training with his dad or something because he's gotten way <laughs> way better <laughs> you know you know and you know save that 19 mil that we could get from tonsil trade him get some draft picks um maybe something like what christian mccaffrey got you got three picks for him and build a team like that. I mean, I, I like Tunsil. It just, I feel like once he gets paid, like right now he's saying all the right things. Once he gets paid, it's going to go back to like, uh, I'm going to half ass it out here. And I don't want that for, for the squad, man. So that's my take on, on Tunsil. All right, VT. We, we know you're staying, but go ahead and tell Well, you, you know got? that me and Crenshaw are like the tame version of Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless, right? Um, so, uh, very rarely do I say that there is a decision that is so easy to make that it would be foolish to make another decision. Um, I know that a lot of people say that about drafting Bryce Young, that it's an easy decision. My l- last article, which, by the way, go to TexansFanBattle.com and read it, is which is why the Houston Texans will not draft Bryce Young. 
So, but on this decision, um, it is absolutely ridiculous to, in my opinion, not to extend Laramie Tunsil. He is the second, if not the best pass protector in the league. Um, he is a phenomenal player, and yeah. I understand the concerns about his uh, <clears throat> commitment level because he did quote unquote quit on the team last year. I was very upset about that as well. So that is a valid concern. However, we will be drafting a quarterback. Now, if I don't think it's going to be Bryce Young. My personal opinion is that it will either be Will Levis or Anthony Richardson. It could be someone else, or we could grab a vet. Either way, that quarterback needs protection. And you would want to give your quarterback the absolute best possibility to succeed. In addition to all of that, who else are we paying? Right. We're not going to be paying Brandon Cooks. He's gone. So if you think about it, the only big money that we have to dish out is Laramie Tunsil. Uh, Titus Howard is probably going to expect 16 to 18 million dollars. So if that, I don't know if that happens necessarily, but if you think about it, we have two players on this entire squad that needs big money. And if you don't play, if you don't pay your your best player that will essentially could be a Hall of Famer, I think it would be a Bill O'Brien level uh, a, a mistake not to extend Laramie Tunsil. Oh, okay. This is Crin Shaw Briggs and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street, cause them bulls out the pen and they bout to stampede.